in earlier slides uh, we have seen the total number of free electrons in a matter number 2 the free energy fermi energy the wave vector at fermi level and also the velocity of the free electrons at the fermi level all these topics basically we are discussing into the section of free electrons theory of free electrons theory in metals right so all these things basically we have determined uh, into the k space by assuming a is pair of uh, k f radius so at the fermi energy level the velocity the momentum and the total number of uh, electrons and the states total number of states we have determined already so now we have to uh, understand that uh, how these free electrons are filled in the uh, available energy states so now this is the point right we have determined the total number of uh, electrons total number of the states now the point is how these n number of electrons are distributed into these available energy states so here we have found the range of physical observables means 0 to a maximum value right and that you can say up to the fermi energy level like kf momentum vector energy up to the fermi level at fermi level velocity at the fermi energy level it means we have considered about the continuous range of energy that varies from zero to the fermi level this is one of the most important concept uh, in this particular topic that the range basically is continuous and we have to keep it in our mind this assumption that all these variables as basically for the electrons are in terms of the range that varies from 0 to a maximum value and our target for this lecture is to explain that how the electrons are distributed among the available energy states so now mathematically we can represent the probability of occupying a given state by continuous distribution function that is known as fermi dirac distribution function so this is our fermi dirac distribution function mathematically that is represented by capital f e is equal to 1 upon exponential part of e minus e f upon k b t plus 1 where f e explain the probability of an electron occupy the any given energy level right this is e is energy of the level in which we see the occupancy of the electrons right so we have a large number of the energy levels that vary from 0 to ef ef is the fermi energy level and E here is that energy level in which basically we have to uh, find out the occupancy of the electrons and that occupancy of the electron is determined by the Fermi Dirac distribution function KB is the Boltzmann constant and that values is 1.38 into 10 raised power minus 23 joule per Kelvin T is the absolute temperature so these are the points right uh, on that basis uh, one can explain uh, uh, the fermi dirac distribution function now the ultimately the point the ultimate point is uh, related to the density of states the density of state is that number of energy levels in the given system in which total number of electrons are filled or have to be occupied 
so we have considered here continuous energy range I have already mentioned it in important point so one can determine the density of energy state between E to E plus D E uh, this is a sphere into the momentum space and uh, the energy of free electrons in metal varies from 0 to the maximum value I have to find out the number of states between this range that is DE so the number of electrons basically free electrons which lies in this particular range of the energy that is basically E plus DE minus E so DE is the energy that is small amount of energy right so in this uh, interval we have to find out the number of electrons and number of the states in which these uh, free electrons are filled right so D is the energy range in which we have to find the density of energy states suppose G E D E are available quantum states the notation for the density of a state is denoted by G E and we have to find out the G E density of a state in the range of D E so total number of the energy states will be G E D E these are the quantum state and N E D are the actual number of electrons in these states right so total number of the electrons are N E D E and available states are G E D E F E is the probability function of the electrons occupying a particular energy state right so F E is the Fermi Dirac distribution function that defines the probability of the electrons that these electrons will be into this particular energy state E so in the range D E the total number of electrons any dv are defined by this formula if we multiply the density of a state by the Fermi Dirac distribution uh, function Fe so one can basically obtain the total number of the electrons in that particular range so here G D E are the number of energy state in that uh, particular range and Fe are the probability distribution function so what is the important point here the energy states in the energy interval DE is determined by the positive octant of the sphere one of the important point uh, mathematically is that we have considered here a octant of the sphere and that first octant basically have the positive values for all the points so what is octant of the sphere this is basically one of the eight division of the 3d space by the coordinate planes right so by using this concept we define the energy states quantum state uh, right that is GE so GE is equal to 1 upon 8 this is volume of that sphere where n indicate the uh, radius right 4 by 3 pi n cube where n is the radius of the sphere and G E R G E basically define the quantum state so from the relation E n is equal to n square h square upon 8 ml square this is the uh, formula for the energy of an electron in nth state right and if the particle is considered in n in finite potential depth well L, L L is equal to the range L is the range of the uh, potential well uh, that is um, one dimensional H is the Planck constant N is the quantum number M is the mass of the electron so uh, this N basically is determined from this relation so n is equal to 
8 ml square e upon h square raised power 1 by 2 I have to put this value of n from the energy relation formula in for the quantum states so g e is equal to 1 by 8 into 4 by 3 pi and the value of n cube that is this one so by this way one can find out the total quantum states after simplifying it by using this assumption L3 is equal to V that is volume so G E you can define is equal to 4 pi V upon 3 H cube into 2 M raised power 3 by 2 E 3 by 2 so what are these G E? G E are the quantum states available quantum state that defined with the help of an octant of the sphere uh, the first octant where uh, all the points basically have positive values and then after the consider the radius of that uh, sphere is n uh, which is uh, determined using the uh, energy concept energy formula right so from there uh, when you put the, all these values, you will get this quantum state in terms of the you know, V, M and E. So now we are differentiating both sides of the above equation because we know that energy is in continuous form. So uh, differentiation of this equation uh, provide this result 2 pi V upon H cube to M raised power 3 by 2 and E raised power 1 by 2 because uh, differentiation of this energy term with raised power 3 by 2 is equal to 3 by 2 e raised power 1 by 2 so when you will put this value uh, you will get this result so the density of the state in the energy interval d e is defined if you multiply this differentiation uh, with d e so these are the density of the states d upon d differentiation of this term quantum states and then multiply by the d e that is the energy range so from this relation you can write g e d e is equal to 2 pi v upon h cube 2 m raised 3 power by 2 e raised power 1 by 2 d e so by this way one can uh, determine the uh, total quantum state in the range of d e so now according to the Pauli exclusion principle only two electrons can exist in each state so the density of energy state in the volume V is G E D is equal to uh, this is multiplied by the two and as a result you get total quantum states uh, is equal to 4 pi V upon H cube 2 M raised power 3 by 2 into E raised power 1 by 2 into D so this is the result for the uh, density of state but if suppose you want to find out the density of state per unit volume in energy interval d e then you have to uh, define it in terms of the prime g prime e d e are the density of energy state per unit volume right in the inter interval of energy d e so it is 4 pi upon h cube 2 m 3 by 2 e raised power 1 by 2 and d so these are the quantum state per unit volume in that interval of the energy so by this way the density of state within the energy interval d is given by n e d e that is equal to f e g e d e we had find out already the value of g e and d e now we have to put the value of f e that is the fermi Dirac distribution function that define the probability of the electron in a particular state so that is this one 
and these are our quantum states so total number of the electrons uh, within that interval are defined by this relation and after rearranging all these terms this formula can be defined 4 pi v upon h cube into 2 m raised power 3 by 2 e 1 by 2 this vector and uh, d e together with this d e upon exponential part e minus e f upon k t plus 1 so if uh, one draw this uh, particular result of uh, density of state with the energy so that behavior is basically like this one in this curve so within this energy interval d e it indicate basically the quantum states up to here this one right so density of energy state for free electrons in a metal and second point here density of state are function of free electrons energy and all these basically relations are derived keeping in mind that all the variables uh, momentum uh, velocity energy have a continuous range that is basically from 0 to a maximum value so we have considered here the energy the momentum the velocity of free electrons in continuous form that is starts from 0 to a maximum value defines by the fermi energy level means ef the fermi energy kf is the maximum momentum and vf is the maximum velocity so we have to keep this uh, concept in our mind uh, when we are driving these results so review of these points so we have to basically review here again the Fermi Dirac distribution function for free electrons in a metal we know the electrons are fermions which obey the Pauli exclusion principle so how these free electrons are filled into the energy levels at any particular temperature T can be determined by the Fermi Dirac distribution function so as you have seen atoms in the different energy state by Maxwell Boltzmann distribution function if you have the idea of pleasure that when you determine the uh, Einstein coefficient then that time the distribution of the atom correspond to the ground state and the excited state we use the Maxwell Boltzmann distribution function and here we are using the Fermi Dirac distribution function that is basically for the purpose to know that how the free electrons are filled into the available energy states at any temperature so now the point is of about analysis of this Fermi Dirac distribution function that is defined mathematically Fe is equal to 1 upon exponential part of E minus EF upon KT plus 1 where E is the energy of an allowed state and EF is the Fermi energy so how to analyze this Fermi Dirac distribution function for that my first point is that I have considered here absolute temperature that is 0 Kelvin T is equal to 0 K so then that time the exponential factor becomes infinite when I put the value of T 0 this exponential factor becomes infinite right but I have to determine now this result will be positive or negative it depends on the relationship between the available energy and the Fermi energy so E minus EF upon KT is equal to minus infinity if E is less than EF and we know about the Fermi energy level that basically decide the field energy levels and uh, empty energy levels 
so right now E is below that so it means this is filled and uh, the result of F E is equal to 1 f e is equal to 1 it means this is the probability distribution function which define the probability that if this is the situation if energy level lies below the Fermi energy level that will be completely filled but in second case when energy of the level is above the Fermi energy level then result of this factor is positive infinity and this time the result of F E is equal to 0 it means there is no chance of electron in that particular energy state so the prob probability distribution of the electrons in that particular energy state is 0 so by this way one can analyze the Fermi Dirac distribution function but this is true when temperature is 0 Kelvin right so all the energy states are completely filled or either complete empty states right but uh, if suppose you have some temperature and the situation is E is equal to EF at any temperature T what will be the behavior of Fermi Dirac distribution function for the metal E is the allowed energy state and that is basically at the scale of Fermi energy level so the factor E minus E F upon KT is equal to 0 and this exponential term becomes 1 and F E is equal to if this is equal to 1 this factor is equal to 1 that's add basically into the uh, second one so it becomes 1 by 2 so F E is equal to 1 by 2 that is equal to 0 0.5 so F E here is 1 by 2 so what is the conclusion of it the conclusion of this statement is when the metal is at any temperature T the allowed energy level is equal to the Fermi energy level then the state will be half filled the probability of that state to filled or to occupy by the electrons will be half so there are three situations related to the Fermi Dirac distribution function when E is less than EF when E is greater than EF and when E is equal to EF the first two conditions basically are considered when you are taking temperature absolute temperature 0 and in the third case here you can consider that temperature may be anything so and but the condition is about the energy that is equal to E is equal to F so then energy levels below EF are completely filled and above EF are completely empty for any temperature greater than 0 F is equal to half at E is equal to EF so this is our conclusion of Fermi Dirac distribution function so when the states are filled when they are empty and when they will be half filled so all these things basically further can be described with the help of a graph so here Fermi energy Fermi Dirac distribution function is uh, plotted with respect to the energy so you can see here that uh, at E is equal to EF here this is the Fermi energy level so at Fermi energy level you see that all the energy states are completely filled at 0 Kelvin right so at T is equal to 0 if E is less than EF here this is the range of EF and below that all the energy states are completely filled and all this straight line indicate to the 1 so if you draw uh, normal here 
that will be below the EF and every time Fe is equal to 1 it means all the energy states are filled if I consider E is greater than EF here so there is Fe is 0 so there are no possibility of the filled state all the energy state are empty here beyond this line at 0 Kelvin and here in this particular case of this particular uh, graph figure that is basically second case when temperature is not 0 Kelvin you are saying that this is greater than 0 Kelvin you earlier discussed it and the result found was 1 by 2 from this relation so here 1 2 3 these three curve are considered along with this particular situation so in case of third right the behavior of it is like this one so now the situation is what situation is temperature is greater than 0 Kelvin so then that time you see it cut at half this is the half of Fe so it cut basically this curve cut it the Fe at half so this value is half height of it half and the states are filled beyond the Fermi energy level also this is the range of Fermi energy level and uh, the area under this curve basically lies this one so you, uh, you um, right and similarly for uh, 2 you can see and uh, similarly for 1 in every case if you see that here all these energy states are completely filled these are the energy states right so in case of 3 all the energy states beyond the Fermi energy level this is the scale of Fermi energy level so all the energy states are filled but at this Fermi energy level these are half filled right and beyond that this is a, a small percentage right beyond the EF and similarly for 1 right so uh, you are increasing the temperature basically and as a result you are observing the behavior of this distribution function that is the of Fermi drag right so uh, your conclusion is when E is greater than EF states are filled beyond EF also so for an example 5% above from EF what will be the meaning of it it means that uh, E is equal to EF plus 5 percent of it so the energy scale will be defined by the sum of these two one is the Fermi energy level and 5 percent of this Fermi energy level if I one can write anywhere 5 percent above from the Fermi energy level so you have to determine the value of it suppose that is this particular value this is EF and 5% is of it this one 20% probability of electrons in these states suppose one says that 20% uh, or 10% 5% probability of electrons above the Fermi energy level so it means Fe is equal to 20% this Fe is equal to 20% that is 0 0.2 so its value is 0 0.2 right and uh, if you have to find out the uh, velocity then uh, you can determine the velocity from this result uh, Vf is equal to square root 2 Ef upon m so now we come back to the concept of energy state and number of electrons occupied into that here we have discussed about the behavior of Fermi Dirac distribution function right so how these basically electrons are filled in different energy states which are below to the Fermi energy level so we have considered here continuous form of energy that was very important point 
and it varies from 0 to EF for an electron. Also the number of free electron increases in number with increases of energy and up to the maximum value EF. This is again an important concept ki we know about the energy of uh, electrons. So here the first point was that energy is continuous. Second point is that the number of free electrons basically increases with respect to the uh, energy of states also. So at absolute zero temperature T is equal to zero Kelvin Fe is equal to one this Fe is equal to E one and it means uh, that uh, E that energy level lies below the Fermi energy level. So now the total number of electrons that basically uh, lies uh, from the zero to uh, this is the range of the energy 0 to EF. So we have to determine total number of the electrons that are n. n is equal to 2 by 3 into this result uh, which you observed after the integration of this E uh, from 0 to EF. So the density of electrons that is the number of electrons per unit volume to find out the density of electrons and this density of electrons is determined by the ratio of n and v right and this is equal to 8 pi upon 3 h cube 2 m raised power 3 by 2 e f 3 by 2 so this is the result mathematical result now the Fermi energy at absolute zero is given by uh, from the above relation n by v and that is this one which can be uh, defined in this way also that is h square upon 2m 3n upon 8 pi 2 by 3 h is constant m is constant so I, pi is constant and 3 and 8 also so at absolute zero temperature the Fermi energy is of the electron free electron is 3.6 pi into 10 raised power minus 19 into n raised power 2 by 3 electron volt so at absolute zero the average energy of an electron in metal is given by this formula now this is the total energy Fermi energy of an electron in a particular energy state and further if we have to find out the en average energy of an electron in metal that basically is determined by this formula this particular formula uh, that here total energy 0 to EF all the uh, electrons with this energy divided by the total number so average energy is uh, determined by this way after solving this integration so E average is equal to 3 by 5 into EF by putting the value of capital N here at this particular point. So average energy of the electron is 3 by 5 EF. So uh, question that uh, determine the average energy and the speed of an electron at its mean energy is uh, 0 Kelvin. If the Fermi energy is 10 electron volt. So 10 electron volt is the Fermi energy is given so you can put the value directly in this particular formula that is 3 by 5 EF and by this way you can find out that uh, 6 electron volt is the average energy of the electron if you know the average energy of the electron you can find out the velocity of the particle at 0 Kelvin and again we use the same formula uh, which we have discussed earlier so V is equal to under root 2 E average upon M where M is the mass of the electron and uh, average energy we have find out already in terms of electron volt then can be converted into joule by multiplying it 1.6 into 10 raised power minus 19 factor so you will get uh, this result the velocity in crystals in metal that is approximately 10 raised power 6 meter per second 
and similarly one more question numerical problem uh, related to this so to make the idea more clear so here consider silver in a metallic state with one free electron per atom calculate the fermi energy given that density of silver 10.5 gram per centimeter cube and atomic weight is 108 so there are two things are given number one the density of silver and the atomic weight from that one can find out the volume of uh, one gram mole of silver that is 108 gram upon 10.5 gram per centimeter cube uh, because of using this formula volume is equal to mass upon density mass is given density is also given uh, in addition to this we know that our godro number number of atoms uh, per gram that is 6.02 into 10 raised power 23 so when you are determining the density of the electron so you have to use this formula and upon v that is equal to uh, 6.02 into 10 raised power 23 n and this is our v 10.5 upon 108 and by this uh, you can determine the value that is approximately 5.85 into 10 to the power 28 per cubic meter so you have now n upon v and uh, you can find out the fermi energy by using this formula h square upon pi 8 pi square m into 3 pi square n upon v raised power 2 by 3 by putting the value of it and converting into the electron volt uh, the result is 5.5 electron volt so by this way one can determine the properties of the uh, solids uh, by using the characteristics of the free electrons so there are uh, uh, these possible ways uh, by which one can determine the uh, properties of the solids so thanks for watching this video and this series of four lectures I hope I have uh, tried to clear to make the idea of free electron theory more clear. So you can visit uh, this video lecture at uh, apniphysics.com and for the general uh, articles related to the education and the uh, points of students, uh, the behavior of student in classroom and outside the classroom at viomhans.com. Thanks. Your comments are valuable. If you find uh, any difficulty or you have any problem uh, to